What is up everybody? It's me, your boy, The Otter Biker. So really quick before I start today's video, I wanna say this video serves more for uh, educational purposes about the product. It's not so much of a how-to video. And the reason I say that is because I'm testing out this product. Again, I am not sponsored by 3M. I bought this product because I wanted something to protect my bike frame and be inexpensive. So there are a lot of uh, bike frame protection kits that cover only small surface areas of the frame. And I was looking for something really inexpensive and a lot of those were like over 40 bucks. So again, I got this one because it comes in a big roll. It was like a four inch wide roll by four feet or six feet, I forgot how long. And it was only like 14, 16 bucks. So that's the reason why I got it. And again, I wanted something to cover a lot of surface area on the actual bike frame. And so now let me go ahead and give you my first, in first impressions before I show you how I installed it. see because of the sun but again i installed it fairly quick only because i got invited to come out and ride um so as far as my first impressions go i was really impressed it's not like a sheet of tape so it's not really skinny or anything it's actually surprisingly thick and it's actually like a rubber um, i don't know if you can really tell but i kind of installed it too quick so the one thing i would say is definitely take your time when installing this um, i don't know again i don't know how to really install this so i should look up some tutorials on how to install it perfectly but again, the good thing is it comes in a long roll. So in case you do mess up, you can always put some more on. Uh, the other thing I liked about it, it's pretty wide. I mean, I pre-cut it to my frame size, so it covers the whole top tube and bottom tube area. And as far as that goes, I think the only negative thing I would have to say about it is some reviews say said that um, once they peeled it off, it took some, off, some, some of the clear coat off, but they did recommend using a heat gun. So when I take this off again, I'm gonna take it off because I did do it too quick. I'm gonna try to do it properly. I'm gonna show you guys how to use the heat gun to remove it. And then I'll give you a review of it, you know, after a few rides to see how it holds up. All right, you guys? So here it is. Again, this might not be a how-to video, more like of an experimental video. But in other news, I ordered this package from Amazon. And so what it has is 3M tape. They call it paint protective film. I don't know if it's specific for mountain bikes or for just paint overall. Um, I wanted to take a cheaper route. I didn't want something like stickers that just cover small portions of the actual frame. So I want something a lot larger. I think this is four inches wide. So that's the main reason I got it. Uh, so it covers most of the frame and it was relatively inexpensive. It was only 16 bucks. So hopefully that should be more than enough to cover most of the bike, at least the spots I want to go on. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to install this onto my new Commonsall mountain bike and see how it goes from there. So let me get rid of this trash. So the first thing we're gonna do, like I said, is we're gonna cut this in half and I'm just gonna guesstimate with the frame, see how high I want it. So I'm gonna want it to approximately, now I'm not one of those people who are all stiglers about straight lines, but I'm actually probably gonna use the box cutter because that cuts a little bit better. So yeah, I would definitely recommend using a box cutter to cut the film with just because the scissors don't really do that good of a job as you can tell they kind of crumpled up the little corner right here but now what i'm going to do is i'm going to line it up with the wood so i can get it perfectly in half and you want to make sure you have a good sharp box cutter blade and what i'm going to do is i'm just going to go downtown follow it and that's a pretty decent straight decently straight piece um as far as my bike, I might use the little thicker piece when it came out thicker. So now let me go ahead and show you my bike. All right, so I hope this is a good angle. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab the adhesive tape or paint protective film, whatever they wanna call it. And we're gonna start from the bottom and move our way up. I'm not gonna wanna detach the whole plastic piece. I mean the backing right away. I'm gonna wanna make sure this is nice and straight. Again, we only got one shot. And then, again, I want to make sure it's nice and straight. So what we're going to do, we're going to pull down. Again, I don't know how to, this isn't like a super how-to video. This is just a, a me testing this out on my bike. So at first I was kind of skeptical on buying this because I heard a lot of reviews that it strips the paint off your bike when people were like trying to replace it or take it off. 
So uh, I said, well, you know what? Let me just go ahead and risk it. I just need something to protect it. You see, I already put on Crooked Boot Cares. You know, it's gonna be on the bottom anyway, so. Let me go ahead and take this label off. But, I mean, it looks pretty decent. I mean, if you take your time, I'm doing this relatively quick. quick. Uh, let me go ahead and show you. So, I mean, you can, this is where it started. You can, I mean, you can hardly tell it it's on there. I mean, I messed up right here because I was doing it quick. But it came out good. Okay, so now we're gonna tap the top tube with the skinnier piece. Again, we're gonna try to be a little bit more careful this time, more patient. So I'm gonna peel the tape, I'm gonna line it up at the top, line it up at the bottom, make sure it's nice and straight. I mean, I'm not a perfectionist. I just need something to protect it. So hopefully that's lined up. This time we're gonna go with it. I mean, I'm pretty sure there's some kind of skill that you need that I don't have. Yeah, peel it all off. Pulled back, didn't see any paint chipping, so that's a good sign. Go up, go up, go up. Way, 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 way better. I mean, there's air bubbles. Maybe if I put some water on it first. Check it out. You can hardly tell it's there. 